Hello, awesome folks. I hope you're having an amazing day today. Today we're taking a look at, at the short story that's in the, uh, the, the collections that I've been doing a deep dive for, uh, Fantasy Visions of Fantasy from the Masters uh, and such. I like it a lot. It's from uh, This collection is from 1989. It's written by Jane Golan. I had read this about a year ago. I was looking. I thought I, thought I published it and read, reviewed it and so forth, but I didn't. Uh, it's called The Seventh Mandarin and the Visions of Fantasy uh, short story collection. Jane Golan uh, was a big name uh, during the era. She uh, published uh, a lot of stuff in the in the eighties for uh, for children. It's kind of like uh, you know Heart's Blood and stuff like that. But uh, I've never read anything by by other than this collection. As a reminder, I picked up this collection in eighty nine, right around when it was published, uh, because I was reading uh, some stuff. I just started reading fantasy. I just read, read The Hobbit, which is written for kids by J R Tolkien, in the sequel, which is more of an adult. Although it starts out more kids, but he definitely transitions to more of an adult novel. And then the next thing, if you recall, uh, was the young adult Dragon Song, Dragon Singer, Dragon Drums trilogy uh, by Anne McCaffrey, set on Pern, with Manoli. Loved it so much. And so because of that, I picked up this collection because the first short story, and the first name on the back, is, is by Anne McCaffrey and set in Pern called The Smallest Dragon Boy, which I liked a lot. So I picked it up, read it, knocked it out very fast when I was a kid, and I thought it would be fun for me to see what it was like to get. And the 7th Manor, again, is definitely in that sort of a genre. It's fun stuff, it's definitely enjoyable, and so forth. Uh, so basically, what's happening is that the 7th Manor is also, and again, no spoilers uh, and such, uh, but it's, it's, it's a sort of, he is a smaller, younger kid uh, who is having some adventures in animation. So that's basically what's happening, and he is now the seventh Mandarin. So that's where this short story comes from, by Jane Yule, a popular author then. Although I, I don't know if she's as remembered or as beloved today as she was. Now there, there are some of her books in the county library when I went to go like go there and or or at the or the library at my school in Boone County, West Virginia. When I was growing up, I don't actually, but I didn't check out any of them and such. I don't. I just don't know what they have in store for you folks. But that's Jane Yolens's the smallest sub dragon the same I'm probably gonna give this more of like a six and a half. It's nice, it's fine, it's fast. Uh, but it doesn't really like like this mammoth book sort of stick with you. That sort of a thing. But it's nice, it's fun, it's interesting. So that's uh, the seventh mineral by Jane Yolen for you folks. Uh, six and a half out of ten. Have you read it? If so, what did you think about it? Let's talk about in the comments below whatever your thoughts are. If you enjoyed this one, hit the subscribe button, the like button, the bell icon if you're feeling frisky, uh, and then finally share it with your friends. Uh, and then, if as a reminder, this channel's name is the worst thing about new books. That's a quote by a French philosopher, Jacques Joubert, who said that the worst thing about them was that they kept us from reading the older books, right? The classics and the bigger stuff. So that's where the passion of this channel comes from. In a 1989 collection that was written decades ago, is definitely something that's older for this channel. All right, so there you are. Finally, I just want to pause and take a moment to thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and investing it in watching my video because we all have so many things that are happening in our lives, right? And we're pulled in so many different directions. So the fact that you spent this time with me, that's incredibly humbling and I appreciate it. Thanks again and have an amazing day.